Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This video is part of our guesstimate series. If you haven't checked out other questions, please check it out. This is slightly unconventional question, but I want to know your approach to solve this question. So please comment below your approach to solve the same problem. Also, if you want me to cover some particular question, please comment the question below and I'll try to prioritize the question in the future videos. With that said, let's get started. Today's question is to estimate the storage required for brain. Yes, you heard it right. The storage required for the brain. I understand the question is a bit unconventional and vague. So I am giving you 5 seconds so that you can think about the question and have some initial approach ready. I hope you have an approach ready to tackle this question. So let's see how we can go about this. First, let's start with the clarifying question. The very first question which we can ask is about the storage. What does it mean when we are talking about the storage for the brain? It means that the storage in GB required to store the information by the brain. The second question which we can ask is about the storage time frame. Why I am asking this question is because every day a lot of things keep happening and your brain consumes the information. So the amount of storage required for one day of information will be different from the storage required for a monthly information. Let's assume that we are only thinking about the incremental storage required for a single day of information. I hope you are with me till now. We are thinking about the incremental storage required for a day. The third question which we can ask is about the what kind of information are we considering here? Is there any specific type of information we are considering like study specific or any type of information is okay? So here we are not bounded by any such constraint, right? So we are thinking about any kind of information. I think this is it. If you think we could have asked other clarifying questions, please do comment in the comment section, which will also help other people to learn from this. Now it is the time to form the goal of the problem. The goal of the problem is to estimate the incremental storage required for the brain to store the information. Right? So now let's start with the high level equation and the walkthrough of the solution. So we need to estimate the daily incremental storage required for the brain. So we will start with the 24 hours in a day and we will bifurcate the total number of hours in a day of active hours and the non-active hours. Here non-active hours means when you sleep because at that point of time I don't think we need incremental storage for new information as there is no consumption of new information while sleeping. Right? So we have to focus on the active hours. These active hours can be further divided into three categories. High concentration time, medium concentration time and low concentration time. Why I have divided into these three? Because the storage required for high concentration will be high and different from the low concentration. That is why you need to divide this. Once we have divided the active hours in a day into high concentration, medium concentration and low concentration, now it is time to convert into incremental storage required for each of it. Then we will sum it up to get the total storage required for the brain for the daily information. I hope you are with me till now. Let's start putting those numbers. There are 24 hours in a day. Let's assume that in general, 16 hours are active hours and 8 hours are sleeping hours which are kind of inactive hours. Right? Now we have to further drill down into active hours. So let's assume that people do high concentration work for 2 hours, weight concentration work for 6 hours and rest 8 hours they do low concentration of work. Now here comes the tricky part that is converting these into amount of storage required. But before that, please like the video and comment your email id to get the free guesstimate ebook containing guesstimate from different industry. This ebook is free for a limited period of time so do comment and like this video. Also you can book a slot with us for mock interview, resume review and career guidance and much more. Now coming back to the question. Here we need to convert the high concentration work into amount of storage required for the brain. So I am taking an analogy from the YouTube. Let's assume that the high concentration work is as good as full HD video at 180p on YouTube. The amount of storage that is needed by 180p YouTube video will be similar to the amount of storage required for the brain doing high concentration work. So one hour of the 180p YouTube video consumes around 3 GB. So 2 hours would need around 6 GB of storage. Similarly, let's assume that the medium concentration would be similar to 480p of YouTube video that will require 0.5 GB per hour that means 500 MB per hour that will give you around 3 GB from the medium concentration work. Now finally for the low concentration work, let's assume that it is equivalent to 240p video resolution. 
and 240p video requires 250 mb that is 0.25 gb per hour so total gb required for 8 hours will be 2 gb adding all of them would be around 11 gb per day that is required for incremental memory storage daily for a human being i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have any doubt please comment below and i will try to answer your queries in the comment section till then keep learning and keep watching